Back to our final week of e-learning. It is crazy that this school year is almost over. First of all, I just wanted to say how proud I am of all of you. I know that this has not been a traditional or easy semester for any of you, including me. It really does hurt my heart that I don't get to do this rat dissection in person with you and that I don't get to see you off after completing your freshman year. But please know that I am so, so proud of you and finish out this semester strong. I know that it's difficult, but you've got this. So for today, uh, the last thing we're going to be doing is our final project. So we've done a body systems mini project. We've dissected a rat. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at comparative anatomy between human beings and rats. So a lot of you had said, well, why are we dissecting a rat? Well, there's a lot of similarities between human anatomy and rat anatomy. So what you're gonna do is if you click on the comparative anatomy final project, I have no frogs up here because I was gonna do an additional assignment last week that I decided not to do, so I had to edit this a little bit. So your task is you're going to be completing a table comparing and contrasting the rat and human anatomy and answering the various questions. Then, using what you have learned throughout the semester, you will create a Google slideshow incorporating the prompts at the end of this document. So, my goodness, this primo really messed this up, huh? Okay, so, down here, all you need to do is you need to come up with at least three adaptations or traits that give an organism an advantage for each organism. And these adaptations can be anything. It could literally be humans have thumbs. Great. And then similarities among the two or between the two, excuse me. So between the rat and the human, what anatomical similarities do they have? And then what differences do they have? And then here you can provide additional notes. I will say the more time you take on this, the easier the project is going to be for you as you move on. So, okay, your first step is complete the table. Then complete the questions. So if you scroll down, you have five different questions. Just talking about various differences and how um, distantly related organisms are, which we looked at uh, in the evidence for evolution packet. So if you did that, you should be able to know how to do this. If not, I will explain it to you later on in this video. And then finally, after you complete those questions, you are doing eight slides, not nine, because I deleted the frog part. So you are just gonna follow these specific instructions, highlighting exactly what is said here. You should have at least eight slides total. Um, I know that some of you like to know specifically how many slides to do. If you have eight slides, great. If you have less than that, I mean, it's okay as long as you have all of the information that I'm asking for, but this is just kind of a rough guideline as to how your slideshow should look. And then after that, you are done. So you're probably asking yourself, well, Ms. Primo, how in the world do I complete this table and how do I complete the questions and where research can I find to do the slideshow? Well, if you go back, We've put together a resource page, a resource page, me and Ms. Pufall. So here, if you click on this, it takes you to the biology body system presentations. Ms. Pufall just incorporated hers. It isn't that much different than what we have already. So there is that. So if you click on this, it'll take you to a blend space where you are able to look at different resources that will help you with this project. So if you click on them, it, here's a video of what is DNA. So going back in time when we first learned about DNA, I know, crazy, it's forever ago. 
So there's videos here, the definition of an adaptation. If you click on it, it takes you right here. Then it describes it for you. And there's all of the resources and then some that you will need on this website in order to help you. So there's that. And then here's some genetic comparisons. So when I ask you how distantly related is the human from the rat and the frog, well, compare the DNA strands. If they have more DNA in common, what do you think? Do you think that they're more distant or more closely related? I don't know, you tell me. And then this tree, okay, well, if you're right here, how distantly related do you think you are in comparison to the rats and the frog? What do you think? You tell me. And then here's embryology. So looking at the embryos, how distantly related do you think that we are from these different organisms? Okay. Now, I know that this looks like a lot, but I am giving you this entire week to do this whole thing. So this is the only new assignment that you are going to have um, for this week. If you finish it before the 22nd, congratulations, you are done with my class. If you want to pace yourself and work on it the whole week, good for you. Um, if you work on it Friday and turn it in before midnight, great. Uh, but this will be due Friday, May 22nd at 11.59 p.m. If you complete this and you've got other work that you need to do in my class, please, you can still turn that in. I will be submitting grades on the 27th, so please make sure that you get all of your work into me by then, okay? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know, and have fun.